Hi there. Here's my confession for this evening. I've just succumbed to temptation and bought a cast iron skillet I didn't need. This is the new American Heritage skillet from Cracker Barrel, featuring a design that says, The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. Do I really need another cast iron skillet? Probably not, but I couldn't resist this one because of my New England heritage. Besides, it's made in the USA by Lodge Cast Iron, and for the past several years, Cracker Barrel has been selling a cast iron skillet at their stores with an American theme. And the design of this pan has changed each year, and they're not the only company to do this. Cast iron cookware has experienced a big return in popularity over the past few years, and these souvenir skillets are easy to find these days. That's a big change from the days when a cast iron skillet was just a frying pan. Collectors of vintage iron will argue the Griswold logo is probably the most famous cast iron pan of all, but that's not the same as collecting souvenir skillets. Griswold is legendary for being high quality and fancy cookware, and people collect it especially because it's Griswold. With a souvenir pan or any collectible item like that, we're just as interested in the design on the bottom of the pan for other reasons. The fact that this is a cast iron pan is a bonus. Of course, some of the most popular of these logo cast iron pans were cast iron ashtray skillets, which were made in great numbers during the mid-20th century. Companies used to give away these ashtray skillets or sell them cheap, and a great number of these were produced by Birmingham Stove and Range. And if you see a tiny pan with a shape like this, with a long groove through the handle that was usually used for resting a cigarette, it was almost certainly made by BSR. BSR also produced a large number of these number three sized pans for a restaurant called Pity Pat's Porch, who used them as serving plates and gave them away to customers for decades, so these pans are often seen in antique malls today. When BSR moved exclusively to its Birmingham location, they produced a commemorative cast iron pan to mark the occasion, and this was revealed on the Facebook group for BSR collectors. However, as the 1960s and 1970s arrived and the industry changed, the lion's share of cast iron advertising was taken by Lodge Manufacturing. Lodge has been taking commissions from different businesses for the past few decades, and they produced a number of pans with interesting designs, some of which have appeared in the hands of collectors and on eBay. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, cast iron pans especially designed for collectors began appearing. The Maca foundry of Utah produced some enormous Dutch ovens with beautifully designed lids. These may have been among the heaviest camp Dutch ovens ever made, and these enormous pots were very popular with Dutch oven cooks, but they weren't enough to generate a profit. The Maca foundry outsourced production of these Dutch ovens to India for a few years, but they stopped producing Dutch ovens completely in 2013. Meanwhile, in the early 1990s, Lodge produced a series of skillets they called the Wildlife Series, which had four separate designs on the bottom. These pans were produced in limited quantities, and Lodge stopped producing them by 2002, and they've since gone on to be highly desirable to collectors, sometimes fetching prices on eBay of $150 to $200. In 2004, both Lodge and Camp Chef released commemorative pans for the 200th anniversary of the Lewis and Clark expedition. Camp Chef continues to make these commemorative pans available today, though Lodge discontinued theirs in the same year. Lodge has continued to make advertising skillets and specially designed pans, but especially since 2010, when Lodge began expanding its production facilities to keep up with demand, they've been producing a large number of collector's item skillets. In 2012, they began producing an American-themed pan for Cracker Barrel, which has become a big seller for the restaurant, and they've released a different skillet each year in their American Heritage series. The American Heritage series officially began with the Buffalo Nickel Pan in 2014, which Lodge then picked up and has been producing as part of its own line. 
folks on the cast iron cooking group have gone out of their way to snatch up these pans, and there have even been a few discussions or even arguments over the politics behind the history of these American landmarks. Maybe that's why I couldn't resist the Paul Revere skillet when it was released this year. Meanwhile, Lodge has produced several series of annual skillets, which are updated each year. One notable and special pan is their Great Smoky Mountain pan from the year 2016. In that year, there was a huge, devastating fire in the Tennessee area that destroyed many homes and businesses, and Lodge donated the sales of its 2016 Great Smoky Mountain pan to a relief fund to help the victims of the fire. This caused their pan to sell like wildfire, and Lodge had to produce a second run of this pan to satisfy the demand. This is why, even though they're still releasing this pan each year, the 2016 pan is a special item, which of course commands a high price on eBay. Within just the past couple of years, Lodge held a big celebration to introduce its new second foundry in the same town of South Pittsburgh, and they released a limited number of 120th anniversary specialty pens, especially for collectors. I certainly couldn't afford this, but I did grab a smaller sized 120th anniversary pan to mark the occasion. And in 2018, Lodge introduced their own annual Made in America skillet, along with a whole line of new pans for its wildlife series. Unlike the original pans, these new pans are prominently marked with Lodge's name, so collectors will know exactly who made them. Will these new wildlife pans be as popular as the original vintage wildlife pans? Only time will tell. Now, the question is, do we really have a need for these fancy and very attractive cast iron pans? Probably not, since these pans will, will cook just as well as any other cast iron skillet, and I really don't like the idea of having a cast iron pan for display purposes rather than as a user. But the look of this pan was enough to make me break my rule and get this just because of the design. Of course, that's the idea. Besides, it's not like there are so many of these fancy souvenir pans being made that they're flooding the market and creating a collector's bubble, at least I hope. If there's resurging popularity of cast iron proves to be a fad, then in a few years these skillets will be worth next to nothing. But fortunately, I didn't get this for the resale value. I got it because it appeals to my Boston heritage, and as a New Englander, I'm glad to own this piece that stands out as something different from all of those usual Boston t-shirts and bumper stickers. I'm not going to hunt down every single one of those Cracker Barrel skillets, and these pans are unique enough that I'm glad to own them. That's a good enough reason to own this, and of course, it's from Lodge Cast Iron an American company that still makes its product in the USA. And finally, this might be an open letter to Lodge Cast Iron. In the early days of the Cast Iron Cooking Group on Facebook, the question came up of whether we might contact Lodge to look into having a special line of cast iron skillets made with a logo of our Facebook group. We found that commissioning a line of specialty pans from Lodge was quite expensive, as it required a cost of $60 per pan and a minimum production of a thousand pieces. While Lodge can, of course, set any requirements they want on production of their own product, I'm hoping they may consider the possibility of introducing a new policy for the modern era, where it may be possible to use crowdfunding to raise the necessary funds for a specialty line of cast iron skillets. Now that Lodge has expanded to a second foundry in order to greatly increase its production, along with modernizing its capability to add design to its pans with far more ease than they were in the past, I wonder if Lodge might consider introducing a package deal for producing a small number of cast iron pans, such as around 100 pans rather than 1,000, and maybe a slightly reducing the cost. A cost of this level may be much more affordable to groups that could afford crowdfunding sources, such as Facebook's Cast Iron Cooking Group. But not only us, many other businesses and specialty groups would also be interested in having something like this that lasts forever. Of course, 
I'm just a satisfied customer of Lodge, and I don't have any special influence with them. No, really, I don't. But that doesn't mean I can't put my opinion out here on YouTube and see what happens. I'm just asking for some commentary from persons watching this video, and I especially hope you've enjoyed this look at some of the specialty cast iron pans produced over the years, some of which have indeed become genuine collector's items. And we can be sure that there will be many more like these coming in the near future, from Cracker Barrel and from Lodge, and probably from other makers as well. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for watching.